In response to North Korea's recent missile launches, South Korea conducted a live-fire exercise on November 7, 2024, launching a Hyunmu-2 short-range ballistic missile toward the Yellow Sea. This drill came just a day after North Korea fired a series of short-range missiles, including an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, the Wasong-18, last week. The exercise simulated a scenario where North Korea launched a ballistic missile, prompting South Korea to retaliate by firing a Hyunmu-2 missile at a sea target representing the origin of North Korea's missile. The Hyunmu-2A is a solid-fuel short-range ballistic missile, developed by South Korea to counter North Korean threats. It has a maximum range of 300 kilometers, can carry nearly one ton of payload, and is capable of precise strikes with a circular error probable, CEP, of just 30 meters. Since its introduction in 2008, the Hyunmu-2A has been a key element in South Korea's defense strategy. It has been used in numerous military exercises to simulate strikes on strategic North Korean sites, ensuring the country's readiness for rapid response to any provocation. While the exact number of Hyunmu-2A missiles is classified, it remains a crucial part of South Korea's counter-provocation measures, forming an integral element of its kill chain preemptive strike system. The purpose of this recent exercise was not just to test the missile's accuracy but to send a clear message, South Korea is ready to defend itself and respond with precision to any missile threat from the north. The South Korean Joint Chiefs of Staff emphasized that this exercise showcased the country's capability to target high-value North Korean assets swiftly and accurately. South Korea's military cooperation with the United States remains a cornerstone of its defense strategy. The two nations are working closely to monitor North Korean activities and maintain a state of readiness for an overwhelming response to any escalation. Just days before this missile exercise, North Korea launched a series of short-range missiles, including the KN-25 Multiple Rocket Launcher System, a weapon that Pyongyang claims could be equipped with tactical nuclear warheads. In addition to the Hyunmu-2A, South Korea has been expanding its ballistic missile arsenal. The recent unveiling of the Hyunmu-5, a bunker buster missile capable of carrying an 8-ton warhead, is part of South Korea's three-axis strategy. This strategy involves preemptive strikes, advanced missile defense systems, and measures to incapacitate North Korean leadership in the event of an imminent attack. South Korea is also enhancing its air capabilities. At a recent air show, the country revealed a new supersonic air-to-ground missile, designed for deployment on the F-A-50 fighter and the next-generation KF-21 aircraft. This missile is intended for both strengthening South Korea's air defense and for export purposes. As tensions continue to rise on the Korean peninsula, South Korea's growing military capabilities serve as a clear deterrent to North Korea's missile threats. With an expanding missile arsenal, a robust defense strategy, and close cooperation with the United States, South Korea remains vigilant and ready to respond decisively to any North Korean aggression. The recent missile exercise was a reminder to North Korea that any act of aggression will be met with a strong and precise response from South Korea. As the situation evolves, South Korea's military posture continues to strengthen, ensuring that the country remains prepared for whatever challenges lie ahead.